Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce you to the ascending and descending functions in Excel. Okay, so to jump into it, basically what we want to do is we want to order some table or some data set uh, based on a specific column or columns. So first we're going to start out with ordering on one column alone. Okay, so with this table over here we have 12 observations and each one you could think of as representing a certain person's performance on some uh, exam on this specific date okay so sometimes this person comes up multiple times and that's purposely made that way because when we do multiple uh, category uh, ordering this will this will uh, show us some clearly some of the things that happens when you order. Okay, so let's first start out by just ordering the names. Okay, in order to do that, you can highlight the entire column, leaving out the title. Then go over here to sort and filter, and let's say we want to do it from A to Z. Excel will warn us that do you want me to just sort this column independent of the other rows or do you want me to move everything associated with Mike example his points his date and with it when I move it so let's see what happens if we do it without so continue with the current selection only just observe that it's only gonna order that column and leave everything else the same okay which if you think of it kinda screws up our whole table because now Anna is associated with 54 points and that really should have been connected to Mike and moved with Mike so we can undo control Z and we'll go to sort and filter again and this time we'll take expand the selection and so everything moved together right Anna still comes to the top but Anna's points come with her and the date comes with her and here I purposely made this column observation column so you can see before it was ordered from 1 to 12 and now it's all garbled up because everything moved with the ordering of this column okay and let's find that Mike here he is number one and his points were 54 if you remember and they moved with him okay now let's undo this we can also order based on date so we'll highlight the date column, we'll go to sort and filter, and we'll go oldest to newest. We'll expand the selection, and we know why we're doing that now, and we'll be sorted based on date. Earliest date first, and the most uh, recent last. Okay, let's undo that, and let's finally sort based on points. So let's see who has the highest points. So we highlight the points column, we go to sort and filter, and let's say largest to smallest. So we get the highest points first. And we will expand the selection. And there we go, Zara has 115 points. She comes to the top, and Mike has three points on this particular day. He goes all the way to the bottom. Okay, so we saw we can sort based on text, based on dates and based on numbers. Now let's sort based on two separate columns. Okay, so let's paint this example uh, before we do it. First we want to sort alphabetically from A to Z the name of the individual. But within each uh, name we also would like to sort highest points to lowest points or yeah highest points to lowest points so for example let's just take Mike Mike appears twice here and here so what we would expect is wherever Mike moves on this alphabetical uh, ordering obviously Mike and Mike are going to be together the two instances of Mike will be next to each other and when they're next to each other I want them to not just be in any order but I want his 54 points to be above his three points okay if we just sort like we did earlier based on 
the name column, we will get this result. Mike and Mike. And it actually comes out to the order that we want. But to, as we can see here, Bobby and Bobby, his seven points come above his 84 because we haven't told Excel to put, do a second level ordering based on points to make the highest points within each identical name to be ordered. Okay, so we'll do that now. The way we do that is we can go to same place, sort and filter, custom sort. So first what we want to do is we want to specify the range with all the headers. So let's highlight everything. Okay? Then let's go to sort, custom sort. And here we're going to input each level of sorting. So the first level we want to put in is the name. Okay? So we're going to sort by name A to Z, right? And we're going to add a level. In this level, see it says then by points values largest to smallest. Okay? So let's hit OK and let's see what happens. So Bobby together obviously because they're you know, alphabetically ordered next to each other but then the points are largest to smallest on Bobby. Same thing with Mike shows up twice and he's highest to lowest. Okay, So that's how you control that. And to just let's undo this and we can do a third level let's do let's add a couple more mics let's change a couple more names to Mike here so we can really see this clearly okay and let's change this to Bob okay let's order based on name first then based on points then based on date and the way we can see that is if there's identical names and identical points, then we want the earliest or the or the oldest date to appear at the top. And so let's make a couple with this of Mike with the same exact points. Okay, so Mike on this date gets 54 points, on this date gets 54 points, and on this date gets 54 points. So these are identical except for the date and so we're going to tell Excel to add a level of sorting so that when we find an identical mic and points it'll sort it oldest to newest based on the date column okay so we'll highlight the entire table with the headers we'll go to sort and filter custom sort now level one is again the names A to Z add a level then by points largest to smallest and we're going to add one more level this time the date and we're going to say oldest to newest let's hit ok and let's see what happens let's go over to Mike so Mike here so all the mics are going to come together because first and foremost they are sorted on the alphabetical uh, column of name then the points highest to lowest so as we can see they're all highest to lowest right but within highest to lowest we have three identical points here right? and within this identical points we want it to sort oldest to newest so we see May 1st 2009 is before May 16 2010 is before November 25th 2011 so we see it did that right okay so this was an introduction to sorting and custom sorting in Excel. Uh, please comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, other tutorials on Excel, and let me know if there's any other topics you want me to cover. Until next time, have a great day.